Most people in America know what is and isn't their property. The minute that you open someone's cooler without permission, you show that you're a food thief. The minute that you taint someone's beverage and then change the dates on their computer shows that you're an intellectual property thief. Not at all, it shows that you're a technology thief. And openly, it doesn't matter how many titles we give you, you're still a thief. Everything you've done is a form of abuse, and that's not okay with me. And most people in America would actually agree with me. So think about what it's going to look like when your community gets hit by the video capabilities of a famous girl who's looking for an opportunity to show herself better and stop looking like a fool on the internet or across the world. You see, it only takes one important person to start to expose what's going on in a city, to start to tell the truth about what is happening that isn't really a pity and isn't really funny. But the liars of America will sit their ass on a corner and expect you to pay them. The rest of us go out and build relationships that get destroyed by people who like to lie and they claim that they're Christian, or they claim that they're Catholic, or they claim that they're Methodist, or they claim that they're Lutheran, or they claim that they're Orthodox, and the bottom line is they're not. Because at no time under any principle of those religions does it say you may lie. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about faith. And faith is what we take for granted for most of us, but faith like people like me who are a priest do not appreciate the people who lie, steal, and cheat us out of our property goods. You see, we're already having these principles of poverty. We're already having these principles of love, but we also know the world of peace relies on people not stealing our property. You see, this is what causes the wars in America is the jealousy of people like me who have a handful of beautiful goods that came from Japan and came from our friends and came from our family, but do you want to take it all to prove what in the end? That you're important to me or that you just are a liar like everyone else? You see, if you want to prove you're important to me, you're going to stand in front of me and say, you know I'm important to you. But here's the problem, little brother, you're not important to God. Because if you're important to God, you've lived by the principles of the Word. And you don't live by any of the principles of the Word, so clearly you didn't pay attention to Bible school. But what you also didn't pay attention to is God's wrath and God's revenge on people like you who just thought you'd get away with the lying that you've done, the stealing that you've done, the raping and pillaging that you've done. And I promise you that doesn't happen. I guarantee you you won't be going to heaven, at least not for very long. And I openly tell you that as long as you think you have Jesus in your soul, that's great for you. And he did die on the cross to, to, to cover your sins, but he never said to you, now that I've covered your sins, you can do anything you fucking want to, to anyone else without a thought to what you're doing to me. Because what you're doing to me is embarrassing me in front of everyone. You claim all these titles, you claim all these faiths, you claim all these things that aren't really true, but let me ask you, at what point did you represent the red, white, and blue of your community? Because the red, white, and blue are the people who came before you and died in order for you to have the opportunities you have. And the blue is representing the tears that the people shed for those who died doing that for you. And the white represents the purity that you're supposed to present to the community so we have a world of peace, love, and let's just say it, rock and roll. But the bottom line here is that you failed yourself. You failed your family of origin, you failed your family of choice, you failed your family of community, and you failed your friends. Because my guess is a handful of them know what you've been doing and really don't want to be a part of you until the end. So I'm encouraging those people who know a thief to not say another word in this world. Because you had your chance to do things right when you heard what they were doing and said, Stop! In the name of the Lord. And you didn't. And these are the reasons that people like me choose to regard ourselves as pagan, choose to live, leave Christendom, and choose to say, you people are not for me.